And I want to start by saying this is open time for the public to speak. Obviously, I'm not in the public here. It's not time for the board members to respond and discuss. It's not time for board members to counterpunch the public's words, debate, or to argue with the public, or to have the last say trying to negate the public's expression. I've been attending board meetings under four different presidents, and this is by far the most oppressive, argumentative, and least democratic of all the boards. There's so much contempt for differing opinions, and I hope this changes. Um, you shut down speech, you no longer allow public correspondence to be included on, in the agenda packet. One person actually said, correspondence is worthless. Um, you've increased censorship and you do not allow the public to be included during the board's discussion of agenda items. You wonder why, this was Mr. Miller, you wonder why Marinwood residents don't attend these meetings. Well, that's part of why. Um, you make up your own rules, you choose to get around the Brown Act laws, you show prejudice against certain audience members who try to add value and different ideas and perspective to the district matters. And I'm amazed that the person sitting at the center chair changes so easily from a really nice person to an oppressor. I have watched other public town meetings that are much more professionally and fairly run. The Marinwood Board many times exhibits disgraceful behavior and at times has become a laughing stock for the county. I can't wear this Marinwood t-shirt anymore to the dog park because people comment about Marinwood and what's in the IJ and what's on social media. Um, I'm very happy that Mr. Kai is stepping down and I certainly hope that the new board will be a little bit more reasonable. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, all right, moving into item H, district matters. 